No doubt coronavirus has had a huge impact on people's emotions across the world. We thought we'd bring in an expert, friend of the show and clinical psychologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, to discuss how the panic and the fear among some people is impacting kids, especially grade school kids, and what should parents be talking about with their children? Dr. Jeff, good to see you. Always great to be here. So let me ask, let's go right to it. Let's talk about these grade school kids. They're at an age where they're not processing a lot of information, and it's a problem many adults have. They read the headline and not the article, and they just hear fear, panic, death toll rising, disease spread. What do you think this is having on these kids? We as parents are the models for behavior. We can talk to our kids till we're blue in their face or blue in our faces as to what it is they need to do in order to handle situations, but they're watching us. We are the role models. So as we begin to panic, our kids will begin to panic. So we have to try to stay calm, and this way our kids will stay calm. But I will tell you, one of the things I see with very young children is that they really don't understand what this is uh, all about. All they keep hearing is, and this is great advice, by the way, don't put your fingers in your mouth, in your nose, mm -hmm. in your eyes. Mm -hmm wash your hands frequently, uh, but what they're also hearing is, hey, school may be closed for about two months, uh, right. and you might be uh, homeschooled, and in some ways, uh, it's exciting, but kind of scary for them at the same time. So how do you get that message when you're competing with the media and you hear these really exaggerated headlines? How do you get that conversation with a kid to say, listen, here's the boring doc telling you that you're gonna be okay, better to listen to this guy than all the sensationalism on the other side. Well, I really believe that if you can't beat them, join them. So get on the internet, get on social media with your kids. And when they go to some of the sites that may be more inflammatory than anything else and may not be giving accurate information and That's telling it. horror stories, pull them back over to a CDC site, pull them back over to a medical site and sit with them and go through it very carefully and give them the information that they need as well as the empowerment strategies. Right. Don't run out to the store and start buying up all the masks and the sanitizer. Absolutely <laughs> not. Leave that for the healthcare workers. All right. Thank you, Doc. Always great to talk to you. My pleasure.